So welcome everyone. Thanks so much for joining me this evening and uh, joining us. Um, somebody else trying to get in there. Um, so um, as you know, I, I think I know everybody on this call, which is fantastic. Um, as you know, I've been uh, learning all this and I, I've been part of um, Rinse's 30 day circle, cycle, whatever you want to call it. And we're in part three of this um, at the minute. So um, it's been an amazing journey. I'm absolutely loving it. And uh, Rinse is here to tell us all about it and to tell us oh. when you're starting this next one. So <laughs> Rinse, if you're here, you can jump on. If you're if you're not ready, that's OK. Um, oh, he's here. He's here. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so good to see everyone again. Yes. Hey, Rinse, how are you? Really juicy, man. Really juicy. <laughs> <laughs> so there are, there are a few um on here rents that are brand new um but i think everybody on here would be kind of aware mm -hmm. of what it's all about and i think um uh, majority or if not all of ye have seen the call that he did with us on december 12th that was the youtube oh. link in the in the group I, i'm i'm pretty sure everybody has seen that or some of it anyway awesome yes Let's just start off with um, closing our eyes, just to set the space. Just allowing yourself to close your eyes. Become aware of the sensations running through your body. Your mind. Also becoming aware of how your soul, and your heart is feeling. And taking a deep breath in together, holding at the top, and relaxing deeper as you breathe out, and allowing yourself to just for a moment pause, to pause the past everything that's happened up till now and pause any thoughts of the future <clears throat> so allowing yourself to pause time itself as we rest in this moment and as you rest in this moment allowing yourself to become aware of all the most powerful lessons and experiences you've had so far with law of attraction, with frequency, with quantum reality, allowing yourself to remember a time when you had a thought and the matter reflected it right back at you. Remembering a time when you went into a frequency or a feeling and your entire experience of reality changed in that instant. Maybe even remembering a moment in your life where you manifested something huge. Remembering what that experience was like to have an intention or a thought and have matter reflect it back to you in an instant. And as you continue to breathe in and out, just allowing yourself to cultivate a sense of wonder and gratitude for the universe for allowing this design of reality how thoughts become manifested and reflected by matter, allowing yourself to somewhat feel an appreciation for this mechanism, this law. And now tapping into your infinite nature, beyond all limits, beyond all stories, 
bringing into your heart space the things you would like to bring into your life this year, the changes you would like to make, the transformations you would like to go through, the quantum leaps you would like to experience in whatever area. Just bringing into your awareness what your 2022 would look like if everything you wanted unfolded effortlessly, naturally, easily. What would life feel like this year if all your desires suddenly came true? Starting to entertain the thought and the feeling of what this year could be for you. Tuning into one of the highest possibilities of this year. What, are, what is all the magic that unfolds on the highest timeline of this year? How does your relationships unfold? How does your income unfold? How does your spirituality unfold? And feeling into the highest possibility of this year a possibility so big compared to your old reality that it somewhat scares you and excites you. The radical shift you've been waiting to make for a long, long time. Starting to feel this shift occurring. What is life like after you make the shift. How does life begin to unfold differently? How do you begin to unfold differently? What starts to change? What are all the emotions and energies and experiences you now get to experience now that you've made the shift? that you were guided through the shift. What can you finally let go of? What baggage no longer exists now that you've made a shift? And tuning into the next three months, six months, 12 months of this specific timeline where you experience your highest unfoldment. Who are you with? Where are you going? What's different about this life after you make the shift? How does it feel to be finally free? To be finally able to choose and create your version of paradise on this earth? How does it feel for your family and loved ones? Your staff? your associates? How does you making the shift create a dramatic ripple onto their lives? Feeling the celebrations you get to experience now that you've made the shift. Noticing how the next year is like 
because this year you made the shift? What opportunities and possibilities open up? I'm just starting to get a sense vibrationally of this high timeline, this version of reality that you and your soul want to align with. All the experiences that come, the feelings that come, the abundance that comes, the love that comes upon making your shift. And just allowing yourself to set this intention within your energy field so that this energy of your highest potential begins to pull you stronger than the patterns of the past, stronger than the old patterns of thought and behavior, feeling this future timeline that is accessible right now, pulling every cell of your being into it this year and for every following year to come. Feeling yourself connect with this frequency. Allowing it to fill your field. Inviting the universe to amplify this for you. Feeling that entire universe shifting into this vibration. Everything inside you and outside you shifting into this vibration. Simply allowing yourself to bask. Remembering that this vibration is the seed that blossoms into a tree, into fruit. Planting this seed into the deepest parts of your being, your soul, and allowing it to be nurtured and strengthened, amplified by source energy itself. And allowing as long as you need to sit with this energy. Whenever you're ready, opening your eyes as you continue to vibrate a frequency at some level, taking as long as you need. We're just going to go around in a circle and share 
what is in store for us on this frequency, on your frequency, what you experienced, what glimpses you attained. I feel like someone on here, where is she? Oh, there you are. Jen, you're up. Jenny, is it? Jenny Maxweeny. Or Jen. Jen Spain. Oh. <laughs> Getting shy now. <laughs> um, yeah, it was pretty cool. So I was healthy because I have a few health issues going on at the moment. I was glowing and um, my diet was really healthy. <laughs> really, really healthy. And yeah, my business was just really taken off and I was so connected to energy. It was this openness in me. Um, it was pretty cool. That feeling of the openness to kind of the energy was, yeah, it's pretty powerful. It was amazing. <laughs> nice. Thanks for sharing. I'll let you pass on the mic, Jen. Someone else. Okay. Um, Roseanne. <laughs> You're muted, Roseanne. Thanks. Um, I I felt blissfully happy. I just felt like I was just floating. Um, I could just feel um, just winds blowing. Um, when you were talking about, um, I, I just felt a pull in my heart, a pull deep in my stomach. And I actually, there was a tear out of one eye at the same time. Uh, it's still there. And um, yeah, I just felt really, um, uh, I, I can't explain it. I can't explain it. It was just wonderful. Yeah, sometimes it is beyond words. Yeah, yeah. Nice. You want to pass it on? I feel like there's two more people. Okay, hang on, I'll see who will I pass it on to now. I don't have a full screen. Um, Lewis. Can pass it on to Lewis. Thank you. Okay. Um, hi, everybody. Hi, Rens. Um, yeah, I felt uh, elated. Um, you know, like like when you are buoyed up by a, and sort of catapulted by a, like, yeah, like you're riding the crest of a wave. Um, I felt, I mean, as you were saying those things, you know, the, about what we're expecting for this year, I was like just saying what I've been saying to myself today. Um, um, that this the version of Luis who lives life abundantly is available today. And I mean, everything was my, everything was there, like uh, reconciliation with my family. I've got a family who's uh, a little bit dysfunctional. Um, got together. We got you know my, my children. Um, they're talking to me where, where they love me, I love them. Um, uh, there was a car, you know, an airplane, and um, uh, 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 I'm, I'm giving service to people making an, inord an inordinately amount of, in, in, sorry, an inordinate amount of money. It's like crazy money, <laughs> crazy, crazy money and, uh, new house, different house, um, uh, girlfriend, uh, lover, wife, um, just everything. I, like every area of my life is like, you know, just lifted and 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 and, and catapulted. That's that's what I what I was feeling. Mm. Beautiful, man. 
Every right, area. Right. I'm telling you, every single, I'm sorry, every area of my life, every area, every single area. Beautiful. You're just a frequent, you're a frequency away from that, man. Everyone here is a frequency away from that. Literally. Let's let let's pass it on to one more person. Um uh, forgotten her first name, Dugan. Yvonne, oh, Yvonne, Yvonne. Yvonne. <laughs> yeah, that's so funny because when I came off um, the meditation, all I could think about was uh, Lewis. I don't know what it yeah. was. I just, I, I can't, I can't, you keep coming into my frequency with, um, <laughs> when I'm doing this talk. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Um, but um i just felt really calm um the last couple of weeks have just been um really kind of frantic and manic and i've really been um we just came out of isolation on wednesday and um, i have three small kids um so it was full on i just felt my mind didn't get a break so the last couple of days um i've just really been focusing on just having calm and peace of mind and even yesterday um i went to barbados but my barbados is the northern lights and um it was lovely and i was trying to even go there again now with this and it's just even being able to it's so weird because um i was able to feel breathing in the cold but feel cozy at the same time um but for me at the moment, it, it's just all about calmness, calmness of mind and just feeling so calm and free and relaxed and easy. I think mm. that everything is easy, not worrying about money, not worrying about how the business is going to go, that it's abundant. You know, my relationship with James is just easy. The kids are easy. Everything is just easy and relaxed and calm and yeah it, it was just like I was here and even James was getting ready to go to soccer and before that would have just driven me demented but I was like no I was just listening to rinse and I was like oh I just feel so calm <laughs> <laughs> so thank you uh Louise beautiful thank you for sharing your fun Thank you. I'm going to, I'm going to share a little quick story. When I got into all this, um, I had, my dream was, um, six figures, um, and just to make six figures. I don't know. It was going to be through some sort of consulting thing. And, um, I wanted to move to a place near the beach with a waterfall on it. Wanted to have um, a girlfriend as well. And I just wanted to be working with a lot of really, really cool people. And um, that's what I wanted. You know, that, that was my dream. And um, what, was my, what was my circumstance? My circumstance was um, pretty dire. It was, it was pretty dire. Um, at the time I could not make anything more than like, I couldn't make anything more than 2k a month for some reason. And, um, no matter how hard I tried, no matter how high, how hard I tried to affirm, visualize, get rid of my limiting beliefs, hear my childhood traumas, the whole shebang, tried it all out. Right. And yeah, I'd experience inner shifts, you know, I'd be like, oh my God, yes, the pain's gone now. Or like, yes, I've got rid of that limiting belief. And then, oh, there's another one. Or like, oh, yes, I'll just visualize this. And then you try to visualize it. And then, you know, shit would happen in a three-dimensional world. And then you'd be taken out of the, you'd be taken out of Barbados. Just like that. And um, 
yeah, I, I remember just feeling really, really, really frustrated because, um, you know, you see people applying stuff about law of attraction and stuff and succeeding. And you start to wonder like, fuck, what am I actually doing wrong? Or is it that I'm, is it that I'm doing something or is there something wrong with me? Like, is it, is it just me? And you start to get it. I started to get into this loop of, um, wondering what the actual secret was. Cause the secret that was given to me, wasn't the actual secret. There was more to it. And that's when I came across a guide that the universe sent me, who was my first ever mentor. And, um, he was actually a PGI consultant. Um, he was not at the time he wasn't anymore, but he'd worked for Bob Proctor. Um, he also left for the same reason, which was, um, they talked about frequency, but never actually talked about how to get into frequency and how to stay in a frequency and how to stay in a frequency when, you know, um, shit's happening in the house and 3d world happens, right? No one actually taught that. And he taught me one thing that changed everything for me. And I took that one thing and turned it into an entire system that anyone can use to create the life of their dreams. Cause it all comes down back to frequency, right? It's that's the only thing it comes back to right now. You're in a frequency and you're going to be in a frequency tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day and for the rest of your life. I don't know how many days that is. I think it equates to about like 70,000 days or something. You're going to be in a frequency every single day, right? But what happens is it's either from, it's either a frequency from what's happened in the past or from what's happened, what's currently happening. And so what happens is you get into a certain frequency based on what's happened in the past based on old patterns, old thoughts, based on what's currently happening. And your frequency doesn't go anywhere beyond your circumstance. It just stays there. And then you go into this loop of the same circumstances happening over and over and over and over and over and over again. Who's been in that? Drop a yes in the chat if you've been in that. <laughs> 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 right it's a, it's a shithole it's actually like it's it's horrible because there's a part of you that knows that i'm an infinite being in a in a physical body like who's connected to source why can't i get my reality to shift right it's an existential dilemma because you're getting the same circumstances again but then part of you knows that miracles and magic is possible and you can kind of touch it but you're not quite there yet so I was in that place and it was really, really horrible. <laughs> so horrible, right? Um, I'm making a light joke of it now, but it was, it was, it was quite shit. Um, yeah, just having, knowing that your dreams are right there, but not being able to access it. I think that's probably one of the worst feelings anyone could have in the world. And so, yeah, I met, I met this mentor and he showed me, um, he showed me the mechanics of frequency he just showed me the mechanics um he didn't tell me the how he showed me the mechanics and i sort of figured out the how along the along the way and so oh can i share screen fiona yeah i will make you... you show them the good old frequency chart yeah so this this chart at the time i couldn't make much money i i i didn't you know i thought i had a money block it was definitely not a money block. It was a, I was just in the wrong frequency, but I was showing, I was showing this diagram and this diagram has literally, um, this is like the 1.0 version. This is like frequency basics, right? He showed me this. And, um, after that, I got it finally clicked. And this diagram is, is it explains the fundamentals of frequency. So this is matter and you know, this is the 3d, this is, um, the fruit and this side is be up behind the veil, what I call quantum frequency, um, 
quantum field, like they call this place the quantum field, this is the seed, right? Or you may call this imagination as well. People sometimes call it that. But that's this side and that's this side. What happens is, we'll just add another dimension to this. This is awareness. So this is like you as pure infinite source, right? This is where your energy is sourced. Wherever this um, green circle is, is where your vibration comes from. So if you're familiar with law of attraction is where, where you vibrate is what you attract, right? Your point of attraction, but or what the fuck does that even mean? I did not know at the time until, until this chart. So on this side of the chart, I call this, my new name for this is infinity. Cause that's where literally everything that is beyond your eyes exists. So this side of the chart is 99.99999% of reality. And what you see with your eyes is 0.001%. And that's proven by science, right? What we see with our eyes is literally 0 0.000001. So that's the first part. What happened to me was I thought that matter was reality right and so i wanted to get to here you know i wanted to get to the magic number then was like 10k a month that was the that was the that was the holy grail to me back then and and i was stuck in 3d world because i thought the 3d was reality i thought matter was reality and so what i would do is i would i would start Bloop, bloop. I'd start taking actions. I'd start visualizing and I'd start getting rid of childhood traumas and beliefs and sh work on myself. I'd self-develop my way to it. Right. But then I'd get to, I'd get around here and then something would just happen and I'd drop straight back. And then this loop, this loop of going out, trying to get to somewhere and coming back down, trying to get somewhere would just happen and happen. Same loop. Right. And you guys might relate to that at some level. And so this is what we're taught. This is the current way to do things, the old way to do things, right? We live in a 3D world and we have to take action. We have to visualize so that we can change things in the 3D world, right? And so the main point of resistance that anyone experiences when it comes to love attraction is because they're trying to change reality. They're trying to change matter. You can't actually change matter. That's why it creates so much resistance. And so I was in this loop and Steve came in. Let me just delete this. And he's, and he told me, Hey, this is where you're at right now. You're in matter. This isn't what he told me by the way. This is my version I'm explaining this in a more eloquent way. But he told me this. On this side, there's infinite frequencies available. There's infinite realities available. And wherever this is, say it's here, the matter will reflect it. Or what some people might call your point of attraction, right? Your point of attraction happens in infinity in the quantum field, right? And so he was telling me that if I wanted to reach this, this mark that I wanted to, I had to take my frequency from matching the, so in this chart right now, my, the frequency, this, this side is matching the three dimensional circumstances, right? Which means I'm always just going to get the same thing over and over and over again, because my frequency is here. He told me that I had to place my frequency in the 10 K a month mark, right? And that's not a result. That's not a visualization. That's placing, that's bringing frequency to a different place. And for a moment, the, the matter won't reflect that frequency. And so your awareness, infinite source, your being has to vibrate here, right? And when you're here, you are in Barbados. You're not looking for Barbados anymore. You're not searching for Barbados. You're not trying to manifest Barbados because you're in Barbados. I got a few smiles. So that's my indication that everyone understood that. 
So I'm in Barbados, right? I, after this meeting, I suddenly start feeling like, oh my God, I'm making so much money. In the 3D, nothing has changed. My awareness went to a place that is beyond three dimensions. My awareness went quantum. And my awareness went to a place that is beyond quantum, right? And so my energy field started vibrating in a different place. That week, I had real estate agents hitting my Instagram up out of nowhere. They found me. I suddenly got calls, referrals. And two, ten, two, two 10K deals fall into my lap. Literally fell into my lap. Imagine being stuck at 2K a month for like six months and then two 10K deals suddenly falling into your lap without any sales, without any sort of like, you know, sales script or like strategy or like cold emails, like none of that shit. I was just feeling in the frequency, right? And this is what happens because my frequency is here and my awareness started vibrating within this frequency. The matter starts to arrange itself according to a different frequency. And so this is the chart, right? Right now, you're currently, your life is, this is your life right now in a frequency form. Right now, your life is somewhere around here. This is your, your baseline, right? And this is how it unfolds in matter, repeating circumstances and your awareness is here. And so where are you, your awareness is, this is where your frequency is. In quantum, your frequency is here. And so from here, you'll probably try to change things. You'll try to manifest things. You'll try to do everything you've been told to do. But the reason why it won't work is because your frequency fundamentally isn't changing. Your frequency is in a place where it's matching your outer reality, the outer world. In other words, you're limiting the 99.9999999% to the 1% that you see. So that's the first mistake, right? That's the first um, shift that has to happen. Aware, awareness that, that what I see with my eyes in reality, it's actually the way I'm feeling, where my vibration is vibrating from. Once you're aware of that, the next step is step two. So if everyone writes down step one, I call it awareness. Awareness, right? Step two is I call activation. And step, we'll get into step three really, but this is the, this is the awareness phase. Right now, your awareness is here, right? The first step is to unplug from the matter and realize which frequency you've been vibrating. And that is a process to go through. Um, the next step after that, now your awareness is in a place that is beyond your physical circumstances. You're in the quantum field, as they say, right? This is entering the quantum field. After that, it's plugging into the frequency. So what we just did at the beginning of the call, that was a taste of what it's like to plug into the frequency, right? And awareness into plugging awareness into a different frequency. Now, most people can get to the stage where they activate a frequency and they're like, wow, that felt good. And then shit happens and then they can't get back into it. <laughs> Who's experienced that? <laughs> yes, hands up. Yeah, lots of hands ups. Cool, that's, yeah. Right? So the ideal thing that happens is like, okay, wow. Like, okay, I shift frequency and then I stay here. It's the staying here part that is the hardest, right? No one freaking teaches that. I had to figure that shit out on my own. Um, but because of this chart, I was able to figure it out. And so all I did was I shifted frequency and I used one of the secrets to staying into frequency. And one of those secrets is play and fun and enjoyment. And so um, I just went into this feeling because it feels really, really good. And it feels really nice. And I did that just for fun. And because my frequency became anchored in here, the matter starts to arrange itself based on a different frequency. So the question you want to ask right now, an awareness question 
is where is my frequency coming from right now? Where is my vibration coming from? Is it, is it sourced off matter? Or is it sourced from choice? Where is matter arranging itself from? Which means you have to be aware of the frequency you're in, right? Is it arranging from the frequency you just entered at the beginning of this call? Or is it arranging itself based on a frequency that isn't your dream life, right? And so the last part, once you know how to activate something, the last A is alignment. And that's the, that's, this is the magic part. It's being able to anchor, literally anchor awareness into an entire different frequency so that it's literally impossible to go back to the old one, right? And that's a mechanism in itself that um, has changed everything for me because the moment I do a frequency shift, I just can't go back to the old one because there's a way you can actually anchor awareness and consciousness into a different frequency. And by doing that, a few things happen. You start to vibrate the frequency regardless of what is happening outside. You start to vibrate the frequency regardless of what your thoughts say, regardless of your inner chat, regardless of your beliefs, regardless of your human self and your ego. You start to function at a deeper layer of reality. And in this, if I were to, if you were to unmute yourself right now and answer this question in this chart, where is reality? Is it on the left side or the right side? Just type it in the chat. Where's reality? Left or right? Left, 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 right? Awesome. So reality here is on the left. But right now you, uh, you'll understand that at an intellectual level. You'll soon experience that on an experiential level. What happens is after this happens, my awareness is there. Matter will start to reflect it in small ways or in big ways, depending on how deep you are in the frequency. So that alignment phase is deepening awareness into this frequency so that you don't get taken out of it. Right. Um, the last call I had, um, another Jennifer was on and I think you remember this Fiona. She was like, I've been in this frequency for like the last six hours. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. So stuff like that starts to happen. Sometimes you'll be in a frequency for a couple hours. Um, you know, once you really get into this stuff, you can stay in a frequency for an entire day. And that's the Holy grail of it. Right. Because once once you're once you start to live here this is what happens this is the magic that happens right this is this is what i do and what i live for fun now say i want something i go into the frequency where that's happening and i shift into it and in this moment i'm in barbados right so i'm not needing it anymore i don't want it anymore i already have it that's what they mean they're like you release detachment you release detachment because you're actually living it already in a different dimension with a different sense of awareness. And then it appears like that so fast. What happens in the alignment phase, once you start anchoring frequency, anchoring awareness into a different frequency, stuff appears like that, literally like that. I remember when Fiona first did it, she got a speaking gig. Oh, not even a speaking gig. It was an all paid for holiday and speaking gig offered to her. <laughs> That was like within 24 hours of like activating a frequency, right? Yeah. So when you do this stuff right, things happen fast. And they, and I mean, they happen very fast, like very, very fast. If you follow this process. And so if I were to clear this out, oh, I won't clear it out. I'll probably open up some questions, but this is the, this is the process that came to me. Um, yeah, it came to me and I was like, holy shit, I just, what did I just do? Two 10K deals just came out of nowhere. What did I do? Well, first, I became aware that I was in the wrong frequency. Second, I went into the right frequency. And third, I started enjoying and aligning myself with that, no matter what happens in 3D. After I got that, I was like, oh my God, I want to share this with someone. I shared it with my friend. She has, um, she's in the Kangen business. Within a week, she 
makes five times her monthly revenue in a week, right? And so I gave her this process, 5X is her income. Um, I shared that story and then someone else who, in, who was in business in Singapore um, had like a matchmaking business. She was stuck at 30K a month for six months. And, you know, reading Neville Goddard, not quite sure how to actually implement. How do you actually live in Barbados while 3D shit is happening, right? How do you actually enter Barbados? How do you stay in Barbados? And I gave her, I guided her through the process. Within about two days of her just, like even just getting the activation part right, she started getting investors coming into her business. She got offered a new office space that was like way bigger than an old one and also half the price. Um, within about a, within about 10 days of that, um, she doubles her revenue. So she hits 60K. About a month after she moves into a dream house and about a few months after she signs like 250K clients after doing the same process again. So you'll get a quantum leap out of this, but like after that happens, you can do it again. That's the magic of this whole thing is it's repeatable, right? You're no longer looking through books, looking for the answer, looking at YouTube videos, like, oh, what do I visualize? Listening to the guided meditations. You don't need anything anymore because you start to get in tune with the, with the actual nature of reality, which is the matter is reflecting frequency all the freaking time. And so what happens if the matter is reflecting frequency all the time, what happens when you start to gain control of your frequency? Let's just type that in the chat. What, what things could happen? What's possible if you suddenly gain control of your frequency and matter is reflecting it 24 seven, what does reality become? Everything. Everything. A game. Yes, it beca literally becomes a freedom. Yes. Freedom. What happens when you're no longer reacting to the physical circumstance? Everything is easy. Right? You find your true self. Yes. You, uh, you will start accessing a different aspect of consciousness that you probably think about the first time you read about law of attraction, found out about, it, right. There's, there's a part of your soul. That's like, I know that stuff is real, but I don't remember how, and I don't know how, right. That's why we get attracted to to learning about universal principles. Cause the moment you start, you get to know those, they unlock your God state they unlock pure creative freedom within, within this, whatever this is, this game is All right. Does anyone have any questions before I ask that question? What, um, what about that last 10 minutes resonated hilarious freedom? Yes. <laughs> what about that last 10 minutes resonated most? What stood out for you? What shifted for you in the last 10 minutes? You can unmute yourself if you wish. You're right, right. It's, it's Olga. Um, one of Fiona's friends from Ottawa. And I uh, just want to share something. Um, we had a dump of uh, 40 centimeters of snow today. So I sitting here in my office watching people getting stuck in the road. I don't know why they're going anywhere, but I'm watching a movie, especially after this meditation. It's like I'm sitting here and watching a movie while I am somewhere in Europe, enjoying nice warm weather and greenery around me. Just like looking at you, there are palm trees behind you. That's where I am. It is freaking amazing. And I just posted that I'm sitting here really in that frequency when I have freedom for, to create, to do what I do when I do with whomever I do. And it just feels amazing. It feels absolutely amazing. In the last 10 minutes, one of the things that I keep, it keeps coming to me even before this call is 
releasing the attachment to what it is you want and understanding that you already there, you have it, you feel it. Ever since Fiona introduced me to you, it must have been about a week ago, actually, I was driving in the car for three hours listening to this and uh, something shifted in me and I was driving and I was telling Fiona, I was laughing because I thought I got to be careful on the road because I am now somewhere else, right? So, but it's absolutely amazing. And again, it's, I keep reminding myself, this comes up every day that which frequency I am in and just listening to you again and sort of seeing you somewhat in person it magnifies it so much more. So that's my experience. Thank you, Fiona. Thanks, Alga. Thank so good. Okay, can I say something? Sure. Um, I, my question was, how do I stay in the frequency that I'm in right now? I want to stay there. I want to say, how do I stay in the frequency that I'm experiencing during this call? Yes, we will get into this. We will get into this for sure. Um, I'm going to answer, what was your name again? Olga's, Olga's, I'm going to riff on something Olga riffed on for a tiny bit. Um, we got to let go of our desires, let go of the attachment. My God, what the fuck does that even mean? That's what was going through my mind when I read that. I was like, I actually don't know what that fucking means. <laughs> and then you start to meditate and you're like, oh, let go, let go. <laughs> Who's experienced that? I did for a couple months. It was horrible. My mentor experienced that for a couple years. Um, and some of the people I've worked with before they came across this stuff, you know, in it for years. This is what it means. I'll explain it in frequency again. So uh, this is awareness, right? Please explain to me what you see right now, because this is the movement, right? Right now, I want something in 3D. So I'm going to try to get stuff. Da, 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 right? That's the wrong way to go about it. I'm going to do it the quantum way. Oh, wow. This is the frequency that's been creating my current circumstance. What I want is actually over here. Oh, where's that frequency? Oh, cool. Let's go here. Oh, wow. This frequency feels really nice. What just happened there? What did I just let go of in that process? Running after 3D. Yes, 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 yes. You let go of, I'll, I'll explain it deeper. Most people want the 3D thing more, right? After a couple of times doing this, you stop wanting shit in the 3D because you realize that the 3D is reflecting frequency. And so this is what happens. Oh, this is the frequency that equates to the thing I want in 3D. I start wanting the frequency more than the outcome, than the desire, right? Because if I'm desiring something in 3D, watch this. This is what blew my mind when I figured this out. Once, if, if you're in a state of wanting and desiring things in the 3D, where is your frequency, Luis? Where is my frequency it, right now on this chart? If my awareness is in 3D wanting things, where is the frequency? Does that make sense? Oh, Lord. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Right? Oh, and you so know, you're like, you've got to desire your manifestation with all your heart. <laughs> no. <laughs> I thought I was muted. Sorry. <laughs> right? It's in, sorry, it's so sorry. What's, what's the question again? So right now, if I'm... Okay, I'll remove this thing right now. This white. You tell me where to place this green line. But if my awareness is in 3D and I'm wanting things and I'm desiring things, where is my frequency? 
your frequency is at the same level as what you're experiencing in 3D. Exactly, brother. Exactly. And so what happens? I get the same thing over and over. I don't get the thing. I get more wanting of the thing. Exactly. And so what does it mean to detach from what you want? It means the matter isn't real. It's reflecting frequency. I need to get into the frequency that correlates with the reality I want. And I got to bring my awareness there. Look, look what happens when I bring awareness there. I've detached from 3D and now I've attached onto the frequency. Bang. I told you that. Fascinating, right? Mm -hmm. It's fascinating. Mm -hmm. So, Luis, I'll let, um, oh, I think Luis already shared. Is there anyone else who'd like to share what they got out of um, that last 10 minutes? Instead of holding on to the desire, you got to hold on to the frequency, right? Because when you hold on to the frequency, your desire, yeah, it actually turns off you because you're in. It's like when you're, in, you know, when Neville was in Barbados, he wasn't like, oh my God, I want Barbados so much. I desire Barbados, right? He's just in, you're just in already. So you, that detachment happens when you're in the frequency, right? That's what no one told me. Cause I was like, how the hell do you detach? Detachment is a byproduct of being in Barbados. Does that make sense for everyone? Juicy. Is there anyone else who'd like to share what they just got out of that last 10 minutes? Cause there were a lot of nuggets in there. Hi, Bill. Julie. Hi. So Rince, you made it seem to see the diagram just really, really made it more concrete in my logical mind. Yeah, totally. Yeah. And I, I totally understand. I need to let go of logic and just let my soul decide. But I think when I get a diagram, it helps me. It helps me unpick it and then I can just let my soul take over. Yeah, totally. I, I, I feel totally. like it's two doors and I've been walking through this, the wrong one all the time. Yeah. You know? So it feels as yeah. simple as that, that I don't take that door, I take the other door. And okay. I know that if I go through the other door, I'll start to I'll start to experience change in the 3D and not to try to directly change the 3D. Yeah, totally. Yeah. You can't actually change a 3D. It's yeah. you can't it's possible. It's just, it's it's a it's like um it's a mirror. It's a mirror, it's mirroring free, it's arranging. Think of the 3D as a as an art piece, but this art piece arranges itself based on something. Yeah. It arranges itself based on frequency. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then once that experientially clicks in, which is what um, you know, the containers I hold up for, then you stop trying to change things because it like whenever I see something I don't like in the 3D, I'm just like, oh what frequency led to that? And then I'm like, oh, wow, that frequency. Okay, got to shift that one. And then I shift it and then it doesn't appear anymore. Mm -hmm. Right? Because it's all a by, it's all a, everything you see with your eyes, the atoms, the circumstances there, it's a echo of the frequency you've been in up till now. Mm -hmm. So you see how this stuff goes a lot deeper. Like, yeah, that's a diagram, but that diagram is pointing to something deeper. That's a door to another layer of reality. Yeah. So let's get to Luis's. If you have any questions, by the way, can, can you please drop it in the chat? I feel, I can feel the intellectual minds asking lots of questions. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get those out of the way and we'll get into the next part. Can I just say something? Just, totally. just clarity that I've gotten from just that diagram alone. Of so course. I've been like, I've been doing what everybody else has been doing, eating up Neville Goddard and Bob Proctor and doing all the work and getting, getting results, not the results that I want to get, but it's like 
you, you're okay, you're getting results. They'll come, they'll come. Hold the vision, yeah. hold the vision, hold the vision. Now I'm right. going, fuck, hold the frequency, <laughs> hold the frequency, hold the frequency, <laughs> the vision, just pick the vision, hold the frequency, and then it will come. I'm like, <laughs> that's it. That's literally it. So every every reality, and this is go this is we cover this in phase three of um of infinity shifting um every reality has frequencies it's made out of right so there's probably a couple questions going through your head right now it's like okay how do we access these frequencies and then how do you even stay in these frequencies right these are that's a whole nother ball game right now that you understand it it's like okay what do you do so last year most of the programs that i did were based around activation so most of the immersions i did were like really fast like people would just come in activate frequency i'd intensify the shit out of it and then cool things would happen and yeah that was fun because you know people would experience really powerful miracles one person became a millionaire multiple people made like double tripled 5x 10x their income within like a month um another person manifested a couple million dollars in his investing business crazy shit happened. The thing I, the thing I realized about that was after someone goes into that program or has that experience, they don't know how to do it again. I mean, they know how to do it again, but they don't have this, the, they couldn't do it again because of certain things, because we focused a lot on activation, less on awareness and less on frequency or less on alignment. With my VIP clients, on the other hand, we focus on all three all the time. And what I found with them was they'd have a quantum leap. And then they'd have another quantum leap. And then they'd have another quantum leap. And then another quantum leap. Like five quantum leaps in a year, you know? Like, it was insane. And so I was like, I was thinking about this in 2020, at the end of last year. And I was like, what if I created something where they get the whole shebang, right? They get the big leaps and they get like, they, they no longer get lost. They get plugged into quantum forever. And that's when I was like, okay, I sort of didn't know how to, I didn't know the answer, but then I went into the frequency and I got answers and they were like, my spirit guides were like, you, you can't, you have to teach them the fundamentals, which is what you guys just did but you have to focus on this time, giving them the moves, giving them the Kung Fu moves, the quantum Kung Fu moves that allow all of this to happen. So what I realized was with all my VIP clients, the ones who are continuously like quantum leaping, they were doing these moves all the time. Like they were doing it repeatedly, 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 these moves. And that's these moves are what this new thing that I'm making is based off. And I'll share a little bit. And this will answer everyone's questions pretty much. Like, how do I stay in it? What is it? How do I get into the frequency? What even is frequency? How do I shift realities? How do I quantum leap? And how do I do that? This is the most important thing. Cause like everyone's joined a program and then they're like, they get out of it and then they're back into old reality, right? That's the last thing I want. So it's like, how do you do this? And repeatedly in a way that it sticks forever. And it came down to this. So these three phases, right? If you guys listen to any of the audios from last year, I was preaching the shit out of this, right? Activation, alignment, or active awareness, activation, and alignment. So what would happen is, is I would take people through these. I'd guide them through the experience and they would get the result. With the VIP clients, I taught them the thing that was underneath it, like the move behind it. And so how the, there's a few problems that you come across. One is, and you guys can write this down. How do you actually access a frequency? How do you know which frequency to access? Right? Like, how do you know, like what, what, what frequencies do you have to access for it to appear really fast? How do you access them? 
and then how do you how do you actually like how do you stay in it how do you live in it what do you do when like your mind is so noisy that you can't even access it right what do you do when shit happens how do you access it right so all these questions appear and all those questions are answered by three moves and i didn't know what to name them so i just gave them numbers <laughs> I call this, I'll just write it out in full. Infinity, infinity one, two, and infinity three. So infinity one. This is the moves, because I think, um, Fiona, you told them that I'll be talking about the 30 day thing. Yeah. yeah. So this is, a, this, is, this is how the 30 day thing was created. I'm like, I want to I teach the moves. I want to teach the fundamentals, the theory, and make people quantum masters, right? Which came down to three moves. The first one is infinity one. And if you guys want to take notes, because yeah, you could totally do this on your own. It's just a lot easier when, you know, you have coaches guiding you through it. Infinity one is being able to unplug from your current frequency and plug in to the quantum field. And, you know, if you've listened to Dr. Joe or Bob Proctor or even Neville Goddard going into the silence, it's going into a state where you don't have an identity. And it's being able to go into that while shit is happening. While things are happening, while life unfolds still, right? So it's plugging in. What I call this is plugging in into infinity, right? So if we go back to this, this is move one. This is current 3D, right? It's plugging, this is move one, infinity one. Right, so all your thoughts, your mental chatter, your old patterns, you know, your frequency no longer functions from those. When you do infinity one, you start opening up to God consciousness. What's next? Does anyone remember what's next? Activation, right? Yeah. So activation is infinity two, right? So in this, in this quantum field, there are many, many, many 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 it's like a radio dial right there's many radio stations on here you can hop on right so quantum infinity two is what i call moving in infinity so it's being able to go into say you want you know say you want a quantum leap in income or maybe you want a relationship quantum leap it's being able to go into that frequency and access the information there it's sort of like what we did at the beginning of this call, but like way a lot more in depth, right? It's accessing all the frequencies, the information, the energy fields, the selves. Your, what you do in infinity is access the web of information that is in that place. And so that information, that frequency starts downloading and your field starts to vibrate from here. That's infinity too. Infinity three is what I call living in infinity. This is being in Barbados with your eyes open, right? You have probably already started to experience that Fiona. Mm -hmm. Have you experienced that? Could you tell, yeah. could you share a story on that? Like you being in a frequency and like your eyes are open. <laughs> well, I think most people have, have seen me that way. I did a video um, after the call last week we had our infinity three call last week and uh i um went into the best possible frequency there is and uh <laughs> i was a tap dancer <laughs> and i was just um vibrating from there um and i was still vibrating when i did the video and people could see that so um yeah. it's just you just go into the best possible frequency that there is and and vibrate from there and 
and it's it's seeing how deep you can go and the more you do it the the better it gets and the easier it gets and you know yeah yeah, it's it's amazing and it it does get easier like because even um Yvonne was asking me yesterday um about doing it when you have kids and you know it's not about not reacting to your kids you know of course we have we all are in a physical world but um it's it's how deep you're in and you're vibrating from a completely different place so it doesn't yeah. ruin things or it doesn't bring you out of it you know the deeper you're in the better yeah so living infinity um this is i started to go into this state a few months into really going into this stuff because once you, you know, do a few quantum leaps, you start to realize that, oh my God, every time that happened, it's because I was in a different frequency. What would happen if I completely ignored the 3D and just went into the frequency world and went into the best frequency? That was my experiment. And crazy shit started to happen. Like insane, insane shit. I I I live, I literally live at a at a retreat center with a temple on it. There's a private waterfall out of my balcony, I get a view of the ocean. And I'm like in the middle of the forest, in the middle of nowhere, and there's perfect reception, right? This came out of nowhere, out of nowhere. You can't actually get this place on a publicly listed property site. You have to be invited here, right? How did that happen? I don't know. That's the thing, the way it appears, you don't know how, but it it will appear. And so living in infinity, which is, the last move, what that involves is intensifying and anchoring as many cells of your awareness into this place, right? And what happens is once you anchor your awareness there, it doesn't matter what happens in the 3D, your vibration just vibrates. Your vibration starts to shift from 3D based to quantum based. And once that happens, man, oh my God, I have no words to describe that experience. But the easiest way to describe it is you go into frequency and it appears. And when it appears, you don't even notice because you're already in it. It's the most hilarious thing. So you go into this frequency and you're so lost in it. It appears and it appears in like three days later, you're like, oh my God, that just appeared. But it doesn't matter anymore because you're already in it, right? So... It's a very trippy experience, but living in infinity, it means you start to become a quantum living being. You're unaffected by things anymore, and you can literally create whatever it is you want. Your experience of reality becomes dictated purely by creative choice and no longer by external circumstance. That's where the true freedom comes in. So that is a move because move one, is detaching frequency from frequency move two is activating frequency accessing it what you learn in in infinity two is all the ways you can enter a frequency because for some of you you may enter a frequency um in our oh, in a different way to another and there's like there's millions of ways to enter a frequency in infinity three it's after you learn how to access it in your specific way there's no right way to access a frequency then it's being able to intensify the shit out of it. And once you intensify a frequency to a certain point, you just can't be taken out. That's just the nature of frequency, right? Because if you think about it right now, if you're currently in a 3D frequency, how is it that you've been able to stay in that for a couple of days, weeks, months, right? It's because it's intense, right? It's anchored in. So you got to anchor it. You get in infinity three, you learn how to anchor frequency and in infinity three stuff happens i mean stuff happens in infinity two as well but once you master the movement of infinity three that's when stuff starts to appear out of nowhere really fast so those are the the three movements if you just master these those literally those three movements i don't know how to undo this infinity one infinity two infinity three That's all you need. If I knew this like two years ago, man, if I knew this five years ago, that would be really, (laughs) that'd be really handy. (laughs) 
There's a question so in, in the chat there, Renz. That is it. Yeah. Um, uh, how did you figure out those movements? How did you figure out those movements? That's a really funny, interesting story. So my mentor gave me the first, gave me a part of infinity two. So infinity two is activating frequency, right? My my first mentor, he was, he was a God at that. Right. So I picked that up really fast, activating frequency. My first couple of clients, huge quantum leaps. It was all from activation, right? It's cool to have activation, but when you only have activation, when you have activation, you'll get really good at manifesting. Let's just say that. The at infinity two, if you want to get really good at manifesting, that's all you need. If you want to experience true freedom within reality, you need infinity one and infinity three, right? Because in, in infinity one, your awareness starts to go beyond the human self. It starts to go into your soul self, which is multidimensional AF, right? So after I got infinity two, which was part of activation, I felt that they were missing gaps. Like I felt that that activation piece was just, you know, a part of it, it wasn't the full thing. Cause yeah, I experienced like cool miracles should appearing out of nowhere, but there's, there was more to it. You know, everyone's felt that there's more to this. There's more to this that meets the eye that meets the inner eye even. Um, and so I would sit down in meditation and I would ask the universe what to do, what do I need to do? And then information would be given to me and then I would do them and then I would do them and I would do them and I'd start experimenting with the downloads that I was receiving. And I did that for, for months and looking back at, you know, every, every two weeks at what's happened, I'd see this pattern of like, oh, these downloads were given to me so that I could detach from the 3d world and start functioning from a higher place. Oh, cool. Infinity three downloads, right? Oh, these downloads were given to me so that when I go into a frequency, I don't get taken out of it by 3d things, right? These downloads were given to me to intensify the quantum world within my own awareness. Right. And so I started getting these downloads. I didn't know what order they came, like, you know, they came in random orders, but over a couple months, you start to see that, oh, it's part of a greater like technology. This is a repeatable science, right? Cause the downloads were so exact. I was like, holy shit, this is crazy. And so the way I received downloads was by meditating, asking for knowledge. And then that's the thing, knowledge, when you know something with the mind, it's not knowledge. That's just mind stuff. The moment you do them and then you start to experience them, that's when the knowledge actually comes. So by doing what I was given in meditation, this came to me. And by, you know, working, you know, I'd be working with a client and I'd be like, oh my God, I don't know what to do right now. Right. This person's going, coming across this. And I'm like, oh, haven't dealt with that before. Then I go meditate and I'm like, oh, what do I do? And then, you know, voices would come in telling me what to do. You need to do this. This is what's happening. And then I do it. And then you'd get an understanding. So all of that, your connection to source, your infinite nature, your connection to higher dimensions, your connection to your own soul, your connection to greater levels of energy all start to happen. Cause yeah, you like, you may, you may be doing this yeah, to create cool stuff. Yeah. You're going to create cool stuff. It's a, it's a no brainer. The most powerful thing out of all of it is your connection to God goes through the roof. Your connection to what you call the divine or source goes through the roof, right? You start to experience realities that are beyond what you see with your eyes and then be able to live that, be, be able to bring that information into this world, right? Which is what I'm doing right now. Cause I, you know, I didn't read the shit off a book, <laughs> right? So your soul mission starts to unlock everything you need, all the resources, the guidances, the energies, 
what what essentially this is doing if for anyone who's feeling the pull into this is it kits it, it kits you out with everything you need for your soul mission on a vibrational level because once you can access vibration frequency information that isn't 3d you're sussed you don't need anything outside you anymore you just have the connection with god and it she he them will give you literally everything you need so yeah you'll become a matrix master but at the same time that mastery of frequency will open up a higher connection to something else something else alignment right the last phase alignment but it's not alignment in the way you've heard about it before. You know, it's like, it's a deep, deep soul alignment. It's when your human self starts to shed and you start to, they start to, you start being shown who you really are. Cause after a few frequency shifts and quantum shifts, it's trippy, man. It's trippy because you just, shifted a frequency and then it matter reflects you know what does that mean what's that mean ponder on that one <laughs> right so it takes you very deep so yeah this isn't it's definitely not for everyone it's definitely for everyone but if you're someone who likes to go deep and if you're someone who's like i know i have a mission on this earth and like, I need to sort out, like, I need to get this frequency stuff on lock. And I know I need to, that's who this for. Like, if you feel in your soul, like I need to be a part of this. Then you say yes. Cause this stuff, right? On a 3D level, it may seem like, oh yeah, you know, I'm being invited onto this program, which isn't, it's not even a program this like let, let's all imagine ourselves as souls right who came here for a specific purpose a collective consciousness to raise this stuff isn't given to me by accident this wasn't given to you by accident you're not on this call by accident right if you're on this call you're meant to be on this call Right. So all I am is a conduit for this information to flow. And that's what all of you will be stepping into as well. It may not be this information, but it'll be your key codes to share. Can everyone feel that? I think Sarah raised her hand. Hello, hi. <clears throat> it's lovely to meet you and meet you all. Hi, Sarah. Some of you I do know. Um, could I ask a quick question, please? Hi, Fiona. Yeah, totally. Yeah, totally. Have, have I frozen? I was rinse frozen. Okay. So you, um, I've heard the um, story about the lady who uh, wants to go to Dubai. And so my question is, because I read a lot of Neville God, Goddard and, and, you know, I, I love his stuff. I immerse myself in it. Um, so I'm fully on board about the, you know, feeling yourself into it and actually feeling it. Um, you know, I know visualizing is different to feeling. It's, it's very, all very well seeing it. You, you have to actually, what does that feel like? Um, but so you said there's no goal setting, you just access the frequency. But my question is around that then, the lady who wanted to go to Dubai, wasn't that a goal? And didn't she visualize it? What was the difference between visualizing and feeling herself in Dubai? And what you're talking about, isn't that a goal? Do you see what I'm, I mean? Yes. 
in so itself, it's, isn't it's, that a goal? It's like it's it's not goal setting in the traditional sense where you know you know you get a goal and then you work your way towards it and you have targets by a certain time. Da 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 da. da. With when you start living quantum, um, 3D goals happen a lot faster, like way, way faster. So yeah, and I'm not saying you don't goal set, you still do set goals, like you still write down what you want to create and all that stuff, targets, da, 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 da. especially if you're in business, you'll need targets, you know. Um, it's just what happens in old traditional goal setting is the moment you set a goal, your frequency is not a, is in a place where you haven't done it. So the new way to do it is to have, yeah, have all your goals, write them down, but make sure your frequency is set to the right place. Right. Yeah. So what would have happened? That's why I don't set deadlines. Yeah. What would happen traditionally with, with, um, what was her name? Her name was grace. The one who went to Dubai. Um, what would have happened traditionally with her is that, okay, let's visualize going into Dubai, right? Let's manifest it. Let's manifest Dubai, right? That's the first thing. We didn't manifest Dubai. I guided her awareness into a reality where she was already in Dubai. And the matter reflected it. yeah does that make sense and, and i understand that because that's what god had talked about yeah to totally because um the quote you used about the many mansions and i know god had talks about that in the power of awareness and i guess the way i see that is that it's different levels of consciousness which are already yeah. there they're like he says creation is finished so it's all done it's just a case of like you said us um reflecting it with our eyes open um so I, I i'm probably not making myself clear i suppose i'm asking what is the difference between what he's talking about and what what you practice and do uh, you just answered that question <laughs> you just asked okay. me what's the difference between what he talks about and what you practice and do that's exactly the difference right a lot of people talk about it. Not many people are doing the thing because no one teaches how to do the thing. So the main difference is there's actually no difference in the con, you know, in the thing, because the thing is always going to be the thing. Reality is always going to be invisible and non-visible, right? So that's always going to stay the same. The difference is you are guided through the doing of it so that you're not because right now you'll try to understand this from a mental level and that's totally okay. But the understanding you're searching for will only be clenched when you actually do it. Right? So it's, it's the doing part where that's the main difference. We're going to actually be doing it. So I guess what you're saying, you go at a much, much deeper level than what he suggests, which is, each night when you go to sleep, let the thing that you want be, get into the feeling place of it so that you're feeding your subconscious, which then goes about creating the events and the resources that will bring that to your 3D reality. So it's more yeah. than that. It's more than just getting into that feeling place. It's a lot deeper. That's probably, we'll go into that, but that's probably, I don't know, 5% of it. There's a lot more. Once you start going beyond okay. the veil, um, a lot unlocks. Like, yeah, you'll be able to live in Barbados, but a lot of cooler things will happen after you go to Barbados. <laughs> and as well, um, cool. I, I find as well, you, Sarah, as well, um, when you know, you're reading books and you're following Neville, which is, he's amazing, he's brilliant. Um, I, I was doing that as well and I was um, part of a group that we used to read Neville but I didn't do it continuously if the kids were screaming fighting or the dogs or whatever I come straight out of it you know you're 
you, you know, you're, you're, they really don't teach how to, you know, activate the frequency and stay there. That was the, the, the big difference for me. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm acting as if I'm there. Yeah, my goal is achieved. Yeah, I'm there for about five seconds. And then I forget about it. <laughs> five hours later, I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm back to my goal again. Yeah, I'm there. I'm there. Yeah, I'm acting as if. But for them five hours in between, I was in lack. And where is it? And, you know, no, that was just me. But I'm sure a lot on here can resonate with that. Yeah. Um, and that is, and uh, that was a major difference. Um, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'd say the key takeaway for me, like doing Thank this you stuff, both. Is, is like, right. you know, when like Nabil is like be in Barbados, like mm -hmm. after implementing this stuff on my own and helping other people do it, like many, many people can say that they know what it's, they can live in Barbados now. And it's not like, oh, how do I live in, but it's like, no, you know how to live in Barbados. Like you are in Barbados. You actually know that by experience and you can do it again and again and again and again. Right. So like this, I feel like where I come in on the, um, I guess on the journey of human consciousness is that part that Neville was touching. I touch it and then expand on it. And then I give it to you. Well, I don't give it to you. Universe does. I'm just a vessel. I just want to share as well, Rent. Um, Jennifer, that's doing the 30 day um, cycle with us. She can't be on the call tonight, but she said, please share my win with everybody. Now we talked about it last week because she was on the call, but for the newbies that are on the call tonight, um, she was saying that um, on, on after Infinity Call 2, um, Rinse was just getting us to think of something that we would love by the end of this year. So we all, he just wrote it down. We all kind of wrote, wrote it down, whatever, whatever it was, you know, just thought of something off, off the top of our heads. And she was saying that she um, wanted her house to sell for $300,000 profit. She lives in the States. So um, I think it was, it was less than a week later. Um, somebody came to view her house and it, it's not even on the market. It wasn't on the market. So somebody came to view her house. They put in an offer, I think three days later. And in total, the profit is 262,000 she's making on her house. And she gets to live in it until June for free. So she said, please share that tonight. So I said, I would share that with you now. I didn't even know that. That's yeah. awesome. She, she found herself packing her bags last week and she didn't even have her house on the market she's like this is insane this is just insane <laughs> yeah yeah amazing wow mm -hmm. wow 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 awesome y'all yeah so can i just jump in and just say i just love the little bit that i want to add is just i just absolutely love the way you say rinse that um, the power of heaven is within me. Oh yeah, yes, I absolutely. If I take nothing else from the calls from that from that evening, I just absolutely love the way you say that, and I totally believe that. It is, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's ultimately what this leads to. It's um, <laughs> yeah, on a three D level, yeah, it's a program. Yeah, you're going to learn some things. Um, but on an energetic level, um, this, everything I do is, a some sort of energetic portal to heaven, right? And where heaven is, everything's in heaven, right? As you say, upstairs. It's upstairs. <laughs> everything's upstairs. Yeah. Yeah. So does anyone have any questions on on any of that so far. Do you have to be really specific with like details and stuff or does that matter? Depends what you're wanting. 
I'll give you an example. Um, I went, I went into a frequent, there was one time I went into a frequency where I just, sometimes I just do this for fun to experiment. Um, but I went into a level, I went into a self who was, um, working with Tony Robbins. All right. He's my dream dude. Like he's the one who got me into this whole thing. So I was like, you know, what? I'm just going to go into that. That feels nice. About a day later, I get a message, um, from someone who's on the Forbes council. Right. And she's like, Hey, I've looked through your stuff. It's really awesome. Um, let's go down a call. And this person found out who she was and back in the day, Tony Robbins, Tony Robbins has a huge VIP client list, like a huge wait list. So Tony Robbins, whenever his wait list got a lot, he would pass on those clients onto this person. So she was working with all of Tony Robbins, like top clients, right? And she was doing quantum and quantum business, a combination between both. That literally happened like 24 hours later, just enjoying a frequency. So was that specific? You could say so, but you know, I wasn't intending to, to manifest. Um, that's the thing. You never really intend to manifest anything anymore after you get into this, this stuff, because you know that, okay, I'm on this frequency. So everything that correlates with this frequency is going to show up in some way. And you know, that was in correlation in harmony with the frequency I was in. Cool. Thank you. Wow. Yeah. Awesome. Any other questions? Oh, hey, Dagmar. I'm good. Oh. <laughs> I just saw you now. No questions. Juan Lewis, were you going to ask a question? Yeah, yeah, I have a question. Um, so this whole getting into the void thing, um, yeah. very, very early on, the first or second time I tried it, I really had a big breakthrough. Um, not really about what I was thinking about. It was about um, taking my my family. When I say my family, not my uh, my siblings and all of their children, um, going to Mexico to have a summit. I thought we'd have a summit so we could just talk and get things out in the open and you know for healing and and to enjoy ourselves as well. Anyway, so. I, when I did the void, I saw myself there. I could feel, I was in the, I was in the water. I could feel the water in my mouth. And it, well, I know it wasn't salty, but we were by the sea. So I think it must mm. be one of those pools. You know how you have like a pool sometimes by the, in the hotel right by the sea? Yeah. Anyway, so that's what I could feel. I could feel the water in my mouth and I was there. It was so vivid. But then this is like three weeks ago. And ever since then, <laughs> When I try yeah. to go into the board, I get nothing. I, I mean, I'm just there. I'm just, I just sit down and, you know, sometimes I get distracted and, but sometimes I just sit there, but I feel like I'm not getting anything. You're not, I, you're not, not getting anything. Yeah. yeah. And I'm wondering, yeah. is that something, I, am I doing something wrong? You know, I, I, I don't know. Yeah, totally. Well, if it's okay with everyone, could I go into what actually happens within this container? Because a lot of the problems that you're going through, man, will be solved um, pretty fast. <laughs> Is that cool Sorry. with everyone? Thumbs up. Oh, thumbs up. That's so, thumbs up, yeah. The magic number I got. So when, when, when I got my first clients, the leaps would take around 10 days. So like these cycles of 10 days, would just be a thing that would just ha natural like happen naturally and so the first thing that happens is phase one so the this each i call it a i guess an infinity shift experience or an infinity cycle is made up of three parts infinity one infinity two and infinity infinity three so infinity one is focused on a couple of things, detachment from the self and 
literally entering infinity. So this is the void. So there's a couple things that may be happen happening for you, Luis. Um, one thing is you you uh, you probably entered the void on accident <laughs> and you're wondering like okay how do i do this again <laughs> <laughs> or how do i enter the room again right so if you're wondering okay how do i access frequency it means you haven't done infinity two so this is after the first 10 days is finished it's focused a lot on infinity one so by the end of 10 days you'll know exactly how to enter the void detach from your 3d self detach from matter after you're in that state then you go into infinity two which is accessing realities accessing vibration accessing frequency accessing energy fields so the reason why you go into this is because after you access you learn how to access vibration fuller it's like awareness starts to expand into a different reality Right? And you'll experience what you just experienced, Louise, where, you know, you were in Mexico. Was it Mexico? Yes. Where you were somewhere. Mexico. Right? You were in Mexico and, like, you were in Mexico. Yeah. And so what you learn in Infinity 2 is to be able to do that again and again and again and again. Not just with Mexico. You could do it with anything, any reality. So what happens here is you pick up the skill of accessing information within the quantum field. You learn how to move within the quantum field, Right. So we dedicate about 10 days to do that. By the end, the end of that 10 days, you get into a state where you're like, oh my God, I can literally access anywhere I want to now. Infinity three is like, okay, I can access any reality now. Which reality do I want to access? Which reality do I want to ground in, right? What's my ultimate reality? And so what happens here is ultimate reality. And we begin anchoring awareness, vibration, and energy into the ultimate reality so that you, your vibration is no longer 3D and it's, you're in Barbados. This is Barbados. Barbados. That's infinity three. You are in Barbados. And after that, after you do that once, you can do it again. Right. So this isn't like a, like you, once you have this, you have this full life pretty much. But Rins, I thought you said, well, I thought you said that, uh, to, when you're getting into the void, you are, um, you, you're, you're supposed to, uh, sense or feel, um, the vibration of nothingness. So that's what I've yeah, been trying so to that, do. Yeah. So that's, that's infinity one, right? If you want to access Mexico again, you need to do infinity two and three. Okay. Right. So the void is the void is part one. That's like chapter one of this whole thing. Once you enter the quantum field, then it's like, oh, I'm in the quantum field. I got to go somewhere. Right. So what happened when you did it the first time is you did infinity one and then slipped into accessing Mexico. And now you're wondering, okay, how do I do that again? You have to master yeah. this movement. So infinity one, two, and three, the Kung Fu moves, right? You're pretty, yeah. everyone here is probably already good at Kung Fu move one. It's Kung Fu move two and three where the magic really happens. Cause if you can access Mexico again and again and again and again, and any other reality, then you're sussed. So then I don't have to do number one then. I don't have to do detachment from no. self. No, you don't. So the thing you learn through this whole thing as well is the purpose of each one because there's different purposes for each move right like if you're already good at activating you don't need to do infinity one but if you find that your mind is noisy and you're reacting to 3d and you can't go anywhere you got to do infinity one right so infinity one is it's that it's like clearing the palette okay. it's clearing the canvas okay. infinity two and three is like painting on the canvas okay and so through it through this whole thing it's 30 days this will take 10 days this one takes another 10 days this one takes another 10 days or one moon 
cycle. And so we start on the next, when's the next new moon, Fiona? February 1st. So February 1st, that's when we start. Yeah. Feb 1st. And the, if anyone knows about the moon, when you're in the new moon, the reason why it's timed like this is because on the new moon, that's when energy is very, very internal. It's a perfect time to go into the void. We start going into infinity two and three. Uh, usually infinity three is around the full moon, right? And that helps intensify all the vibrations you're going into. You're working in harmony with the moon and the planet itself. Any questions on that? Does that make sense to like the movements? It's like the, this whole thing is made up of three movements. So if you feel like you can't go somewhere, which move are you missing? If you feel like you can't go into the void, which move are you missing? If you feel like you can't switch reality and stay in it, which move are you missing? It'll come down to those same three moves. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah, it does. Thank you. Perfect. See, Karan is here too. Oh, it's Karan here. Karan and uh, Leonora as well. Hey, I'm Ryan. just curious, hey, everybody. For everyone who's here, out of those three moves, which one do you feel the most resonance to? Just type it in the chat, infinity one, two, or three. Two, one. Sweet, three. Nice. One, one, one. Yeah. So yeah, all the all the ones with noisy minds, it's infinity one. <laughs> Originally, I probably would have picked number three, but after doing it, I realize, yeah, it would be one for me as well. The busy mind. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Awesome. So. Um, Can I just ask a question, please, if that's OK? Um, oh, yeah. Just with regards the the um the silence and staying in the silence for two hours. Um just at the moment for me it's a little bit difficult to get two hours together. Like, is it okay to do it in kind of blocks? Like I know ideally you should be able to do it in two hours, but at the moment I just can't. And it's it, it's like you know it, it's just finding the time, you know, with the three kids and working and everything like that. Like I'd literally have to get up at three o'clock, and the baby's probably awake at that stage anyway. Mm. <laughs> so, like, is it okay to do like an hour and then do an hour again in the evening, or is it just a waste of time because you're not doing the two hours together? If that makes any well, sense. Well, the two hour, the two hours has a purpose. It's so yeah. you go because the longer you sit in silence, the, the layers of silence become revealed to you, right? So that that's just the way I did it, right? Oh. I did two hours of silence a day for fourteen days straight, and after that, I was a different person. Um, but the purpose of it is so your awareness becomes subtle, right? It goes beyond mind. So yeah, you can still do that. You you can still do it with one hour sittings. It's just if you want to go really deep, it'll require, especially if you're starting, it'll require that you spend longer time in silence. But yeah, you don't have to. You don't have okay. to. Thank you. If one hour is enough, then yeah. Because yeah, you can go and, you know, sometimes it only takes me 15 minutes to hit the spot. Okay. Yeah. Nice. So yeah, silence is, um, that's a thing, right? You've probably experienced this, Fiona, like silence. It's on right now. Like, listen. Yeah. 
this here. Boom, silence. <laughs> <laughs> so, Always accessible. That's how you do right? When you listen to it, though, it becomes an entire symphony. Silence. Anyways. So I might have to hop off soon. I've got five minutes left. Um, for those who would like to join and like to receive an invitation to this place, um, to this container. I want to intuitively, I feel called that there's about 10 people here that are ready for some sort of very, 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 very big, very big leap. So let's go into, this is what happens, right? It's, it's split up into thirds. So what happens during these, just because I like to make things really, really juicy. So the first, each 10 day cycle, there will be an official call and it'll be a somewhat of a call like this one where I go really deep into each one. So infinity, the first 10 days on day one, there will be a call just on infinity one. After that, you'll be given certain, um, certain activities to do to deepen that state to mass, you'll be given things to do to master infinity one as a movement in between the infinity one call and the next infinity two call, you will get access to your own coach, right? So that means you can book in a call with a one-to-one -one coach. So right now we've got Ash, Ollie, uh, we've got Jennifer, uh, this is a different Jennifer to the Jennifer in this group. But what happens is within Infinity One, you will probably you'll come across certain things, certain blocks, certain questions you have. And so you can book in a call with a coach. So you get pretty much your own coach throughout this whole thing, right? The same thing happens with Infinity Two. So once we get into Infinity Two, which is activation, what will happen with the coaches is they will guide you. So infinity to the coaches will guide you into the rooms, energies, and frequencies that you need to create that huge shift, right? And so what happens in infinity two, you'll probably have two to three calls with a one-on-one -on -one coach. And what will happen is you'll listen to those over and over again. You get your own pretty much personalized guided meditation. Infinity three is how do you describe infinity three fiona it's quite the wordless you know you can't really put that into words but what <laughs> happens in infinity three is um at least what's happened right now is so with your coach you can be paired up with a coach you may be even be paired up with multiple coaches within certain groups you're going to be experiencing something called group reality shifting which is very powerful. So you can actually shift realities and rooms as an entire group, which means you have your entire Power Rangers squad of reality shifters. So that's what happens on a, um, on a support level within the container, you get support and then I run the official calls. Does anyone have any questions on that? No, no questions. Sweet. So the only thing we haven't talked about yet is the tuition. So the tuition for the full moon cycle is 5k. You can, or you can do 50% uh, now and 50% after. And the thing is as well, there will only be 10 spots for this. So if you feel like you're one of the ones, or if you have any questions, just message for your another word. What's a cool word? Message her the word juicy. Message her the word juicy. And um, 
you. What will happen is if um, if you feel you're a yes and you want to join this, you can message Fiona Juicy. She'll invite you into um, a private group that we have, and then all the payment and stuff will be taken care of in there. Awesome, yeah. Any questions? Is that New Zealand dollars or Euro? No, so all of that is in US. US, thank you, cool. thanks. Any questions? No questions. I want to do something fun. So I feel like there's about, yeah, I feel like there's about four of you who want to do a one-on-one -on -one with me. Who, f can you please type your name in the chat if that's you? I feel like it's you, Jenny. Who's, who what's up with Jenny, man? <laughs> You're right. <laughs> She's after <laughs> That is Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> Jen, Jen, okay. So if you if you guys join in the next 24 hours, I will include a one-on-one -on -one session with me in there. How does that sound? Lisa, there you go. Um yeah. Juicy. Sarah. Sarah, juicy. Nice, nice. Luis. Luis. Yeah. Nice. So for everyone who's in, is it okay if we, Fiona, is it okay if we start a, another room for everyone who's said yes? If you've got any messages, I'd like to do another special little thingy. Mm, like you mean like another Zoom call? Yeah, like another Zoom call, like separate from this one. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I feel I feel like I feel like the ones who've said yes, they're pretty onto it. So I just want to get straight into the, you know, straight into the juice. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, definitely. can we do that? Oh yeah, yeah. definitely. But yeah, if if you're in message Fiona, you'll get added to another group. And um, we'll have the after party. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So so awesome, I, y'all. I say night night and go to bed. <laughs> Enjoy, the going, Hillary. Enjoy the after party, guys. <laughs> Thanks, Hillary. Talk to you Bye. very soon. Thanks for joining. Talk to you soon. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Um, I'll see everyone on the after party for those who are joining. <laughs> I think he means now, Fiona. <laughs> I think yeah. he means now. So, yeah. can we just stay on then, or what? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Do I set up a new link now, or what? I don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah, it'd be easier for people to. Yeah, Fiona, I think yeah, it's all good. I think he's he meant to uh, create another link and uh, for people who suggested yes to join that link. Okay, okay. You know the way Zoom can have breakout rooms. I don't know if you can do that. I think that I think that's what he meant to put those five or six people into another room. Yeah, yeah. he's gone it's though. I don't, um, he's gone though. Why did, why did he talk about an after party? Anybody that's interested in doing the 30 days. I, I thought he was going to speak to them now. No. Yeah, I think that's yeah. Cool. When he said it for me, when he said it a few minutes ago, I assumed it was like a different night, but I think I'm no, wrong. I think you mean Val, yeah. 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 He did yeah. say though that he could only stay for five more minutes, about ten minutes ago. Yeah, so. that's probably what yeah. I'm thinking of. Yeah. No, he probably just got a. He just probably took a break, and you're going to continue. Yeah. Maybe, maybe we'll hang on a minute anyway until I message him. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to hang out for the after party. <laughs> I, I think he meant you to put them, you know, those people all into one room on their own, and the rest of us would be bye bye. Yeah. <laughs> We're not going to the after party. No. <laughs> <laughs>
Lisa's coming back in. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I'm not missing the party. <laughs> He's going to get ice, Fiona. Jim. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone to get the bottle. <laughs> oh, he just sent me a link. <laughs> That's the after party link. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to pop the link in the chat. Is that okay? Would everybody have access to it if I do that? Oh, he's he's recording a voice message. Hang on. Let me see. I think he's recording a message. <clears throat> I shared the link anyway. Hey Fiona. Yeah. Does he? Um, those of us who are going to be in the other room, does he want for us to pay like right now today? Oh, I don't. I don't think so. I don't think so. And he he said how much? He said five k. Five thousand U.S. dollars. Yeah. Okay. Um. Or yeah, pay fifty fifty. Okay. So that's. The did you all see that in there? Can you give access to that? I'm just going to mute myself for a minute. Okay. Okay, so that link is for people that have said yes to the, the 30 days. Okay. Has everybody got it? Everybody that is saying yes, has everybody got it? I anything? don't have it, Fiona. Can you right. send it to me? Yeah, of course. Thank you. No problem. Anybody else? Fiona, did you share it in the, is that the link in the chat? Yeah. Yeah, okay, got it. You got it, okay. Anyone Thank else? you. No problem. Hi, Fiona. Yeah. Yeah. Could you send it to me on Telegram? Yeah. Um, just privately just because private. I'm because I'm on my iPad. I can't access Telegram. Sure. I yeah. Need to use my phone. Perfect. Done. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Anyone else? So we're jumping off here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, jump off here. Um, oh, oh, yes. So I know what it is now. The link is a Telegram link. All righty. And you can do calls in Telegram. So he's obviously going to do the, the call in Telegram. Um, so that's what it is. So when you, um, do you know what I'll do? I will. Well, I put, I don't want to put it in the group because, in every, because people will be wondering what's, What's all that? Um, well, I just send it. Let me see. Yeah, he started the video there. OK, well, let's just click on that link and go there. Is that OK with everybody? Which so you can now? only click on it if you're actually deciding here or now. Just the people seconds. that have said yes. Yeah. Now, the people have said yes. But if you're if you're 50 50 or if you're thinking, um, then jump on. Is that okay with everybody? No. Um, I, well, okay, you know what? Yeah. I'm, I may have to do it another time. Uh, so I don't have the 50-50 right now. Sure. I think this is more about having the experience with him. So I don't think it's like looking for people to pay right now. It's just the people no. who said Oh, well, sorry. Yes. No, I meant if you're 50-50 thinking, you, you're, you're, yeah, you're not 100% sure. That you want to join. Sorry, Lewis. I, I think you took me up wrong there. No, I don't think he's looking for payment today. No, no, it's just for the experience. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, then I guess. Okay. Yeah. okay so I don't, go I ahead and click the link. Yeah. Go ahead and click the link. He's in there and he's starting a video call in there now. I, I saw the, the link. link it's in the chat. 
Yeah, in the chat. Oh, yeah. Grand, yeah. yeah. Anybody need me to send it to them personally? Yeah. Okay. Maybe can you send it like in Messenger or something? Yeah. Fiona, just a quick thing. Um, I don't have Telegram yet. My phone is not liking to upload it for some reason. It uh, tells me I don't have enough space. And on la my laptop, um, it's not allowing me in. So suggestions? Um, what would you do there? Um, Question. It brings so, me to Telegram and so it's join group, but when I join, I get go nowhere. Okay, because you have to download it. I want that one too. Right. Yeah, you so need Telegram for this. Me. Yeah. Okay. Um, so maybe what I'll do, I'll do, um, I'll just try to upload it and I have a link to, to jump in. Okay. Try try again, maybe. Yvonne, uh, anybody that's in, fun. click on join at the top. Anybody Yay. that's in the group. Yeah, I'm welcome, trying to join welcome. the group. It's not working. So um, let me figure it out. I, I would I would like to be part of it. Just just keep it in mind. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna try to join. Okay. Perfect. Try downloading yeah. again on your laptop. Yeah. Or, yeah. 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 That's what I'm doing. Yeah. Thanks so much. Uh, uh, I, nothing. I, I'll ask him, but nothing else. I got you. No, you I got. No you. Idea, I got yeah. you. Thank you. Okay. No worries. Everybody so okay? Good. Anybody else need the link or anything? So oh, it says, it says the infinity all. shift experience, right? Activation one channel. Yeah, that's just, it. Yeah. Do I click on join group? Click on join. Yeah, I'm just click on join. Up, up, actually. Um, I'm just going to take everyone through a guided meditation. Just as just as just going to open up your energy fields in a certain <laughs> way for a lot of big energies to start coming through you. Um, that's cool with everyone. Awesome. So you have five